So we're going to be using uh, lifting the sky to generate a smooth energy flow. Uh, one finger shooting zen for a gentle focused mind. Dan Jian breathing for calmness and stability. And Wu Ji stance for returning to relaxed states of mind and body here and now. And sinew metamorphosis for your energy boost. So we start with lifting the sky. Again, coming back to the important foundation part of your training because that's where all of your Qigong skill is going to be built from. So it's worth getting that right. So we start with the feet close together, body relaxed, knees off lock, not jammed back, and standing upright so you're in line from the top of your head to the figurative heart to the Dantian. Arms gently relaxed to the sides of the body and then lifting the sky. Just gently lifting the sky. You can do lifting the sky 10, 12, 15 times, however many times it takes for you to generate a smooth energy flow. So the intention before your practice is to generate a smooth energy flow and as energy follows thought, the fact that you've given an intention for energy to flow smoothly, you can start to generate an energy flow. So as the energy starts to flow, the body starts to move and once you've generated enough energy, you can just let go and let the energy start to gently roll and smooth flow through your body. As it gently rolls and smoothly flows through your body, this is what can wash away, as we know, the tensions in the body and the blockages and helps to bring about good health. So here we're just enjoying a gentle energy flow. Not a vigorous energy flow, but just a gentle and a smooth energy flow. After a while, gently think of the Dantian coming back to stillness into the Wuji stance. Wuji stance, just standing up, relax, eyes closed, mouth gently open, not thinking about anything on purpose and just relaxing into the Wuji stance. Nice, calm state of mind, relaxed body, relaxed state of being. After some time in the Wuji stance, gently think of the Dantian, rub your palms together, dab the eyes, massage around the face and the head, and then have a brisk walk around your place of training. You don't need a big space for training here on the platform outside of my treatment and training room. We've just got a small area and this is enough area to do your Qigong training. So now we have a look at the one finger shooting zen, the important points of the one finger shooting zen. So standing upright, feet close together. Bring the hands up the sides of the body as you breathe in. Turn the hands over, breathe out as the chi comes to the dantian. Come to two tigers to the ready. Stepping out into goat riding stance and sink gently down into your stance. As you draw the hands up the sides of the body, just be careful not to lift your shoulders up in the process, but just lift the finger up. The exercise here, the sound is a gentle shh, teeth gently clenched together, shh, and the mind, energy gently focused at the fingertip. Do this very gently, focusing your eyes on the movement and the fingertip, focusing on the energy gently flow into the fingertip, and we start to develop a gentle, focused mind. Do this 10 times and once you've done it 10 times, shoot out with a shh, then breathe out, chi comes to the dantian. Left hand, breathe in, turn the hand over at the side of the chest, The focus, the movement, the breath, the sound, all done very gently. Nothing forced, gentle focus. In your own practice, do this 10 times. Shoot out, then breathe out. Chi comes to the Dantian. Stand upright, breathe out. Come to Wu Ji stance. Standing in Wuji stance for some time. After some time, gently think of the Dantian, rub the palms together, dab the eyes, massage the face and the head, 
and then briskly walk around your uh, training space. Now the sum time might be one minute, might be five minutes or somewhere in between. That's up to you and you can just enjoy that part of your training and you don't have to worry about how long or short you're in that training. You know when you need to finish that part of your training. The Wuji stance, very simple as we've said and explained in the training, is standing upright and relaxing, mouth gently open, eyes gently closed and not focusing on anything in particular but not getting distracted by thoughts either. Just enjoying standing there in a neutral stance, Wuji stance. Cine metamorphosis training that we've been doing as well. So the first Cine metamorphosis exercise is the flicking fingers, you do that nine times then go to flexing fingers nine times, go to clenching thumbs nine times, and then go to clenching fists nine times. And then after you've done these exercises nine times, gently breathe out with a three times, spreading the energy around the body. And once you've done this, you can come back to that wuji stance. Eyes closed, mouth gently open, Staying in Wuji stance for some time. Gently think of the Dantian. Rub the palms together. Add the eyes. Massage around the face and the head. And then come into the abdominal breathing or the Dantian breathing that we've practiced. This was stage four of the abdominal breathing. Hands over the Dantian. And we're focusing on the movement, the coordination of breath and movement. As you inhale, the abdomen rises and you pause. As you exhale, gently press the abdomen. The abdomen falls. Pause. Gently breathe in. Abdomen rises. Pause. Gently breathe out. Abdomen falls. Pause. Do this for a number of times. Then let the hands come to the sides of the body, standing in flowing stillness or wuji stance again. After some time, gently think of the Dantian, rub the palms together, dab the eyes, massage around the face and the head, and then walk briskly around. Okay, so in the practice that we've done, that we've done in class, and we've done on the videos, we've stood upright, we've done the exercise, we've had an energy flow, we're not in more movement or still, and then we've come to stillness, then we've finished the exercise, and then we've gone on to the next exercise. And that's one way of training, a safe way of training so that you don't build up too much energy which may not be useful for you but you can start to spread that energy through your body but it depends on the level of your training you might decide to do lift in the sky several times generating some energy flow then from here coming into two tigers to the ready stepping out one finger shooting Zen do this ten times both sides. Once you've done this ten times, both sides, stepping up, just momentarily come into stillness, and you might go into one of the sinew metamorphosis exercises. Generally, I use the flicking fingers for the boost of energy. Let the energy flow. After a while, come back to stillness. Wuji stance. Anything in the Dantian, rub the palms together, dab the eyes, spread the energy over the face and the head and then have a brisk walk around the space of your training as well.